Like most DIYers or woodworkers, I've got a shop vac set up in the workshop. It's hidden away down here in the corner with a cyclone dust extractor. I've set it up with a five meter long hose so that I can use it over here when I'm using tools at the workbench. The only issue is that to turn it on and off, I have to reach down into the corner, which means either reaching down into the corner to flick it on at the back, or leaving it on at the back and switching it on back here at the wall, both of which are less than ideal. So I've decided to wire up this switch to make turning it on and off a lot easier. I want to keep the shop vac mobile and have the option to use it outside of the workshop. So rather than wiring it onto the main cable of the shop vac, I've got a short single gang extension lead that I'm gonna wire the switch onto. Then this can plug into the power and the shop vac can plug into there. And I'm gonna fix this switch onto the wall over here so that I can use tools here and then just turn around and turn the shop vac on and off. Much easier than having to reach back into there or down into there. So let's get cracking. First thing I had to do was to make a mount for the switch. I cut two pieces of 12 millimeter MDF to make up a box. Then marked up the hole to cut for the back of the switch to go through. I drilled the bulk of this out using a forstner bit on the pillar drill, which to be honest was overkill but it's a new drill so I had to use it. I cut the rest out using the world's worst jigsaw and then marked up the second piece which I cut in the same way. I could then wire up the switch. I originally planned on using the cable from the extension lead, but it wasn't the best quality, so joining it onto the switch was a bit of an issue. So instead, I used some standard 2.5mm twilling earth to attach both ends of the switch. Just matching up the positive, negative and earth wires. I then thread the cables through the hole and screwed the switch into place. I marked up on the side of the second piece of MDF where the cables would exit, then drilled this out, cut it with a multi-tool and then cleaned up the cut slightly with a knife. I could then thread the cables through the second piece and then I glued and brad nailed this into place. I then wired one of the switch cables onto the plug of the extension lead. And then I used a junction box to attach the other cable onto the extension lead socket. So the wires now go from the plug to the switch and then from the switch to the socket end, basically adding a switch into the middle of the extension lead. All that was left to do was to mount it all onto the wall and it was good to go.
So there we go, we're all done. And now we've got a nice wall mounted switch for the vac, so I can just flick it on. And off, easy as that, no more reaching down there. We're in behind there. So now best get on with uh, vacking up all the mess. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.